We are in Rotterdam. We're going to be shooting a range of different styles of photography, looking at mainly architecture, architecture in the landscape, loads of street photography as well. The thing I'm really excited about is that we've all slightly got different styles, so I really enjoy shooting long exposures, tripod based, like architecture in the environment, in this landscape. Talk to me about what you like shooting. Yeah, I like shooting architecture, I like shooting street, and I like to find kind of the beauty in the ugliness. Basically, I'm uh, an all rounder, but I love to shoot uh, street photography as well and architecture. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah. We've also got loads of different kits. So we've got a couple of ZFCs, we've got loads of Z9s, lots of different lenses, everything from ultra wide to loads of zoom. So hopefully you guys are excited too. Yeah. Definitely. Can't wait. So I'm here just at sunrise and I've been able to take some shots just before that sun's come up. Now I've come for a slightly wider view so I can shoot back towards the bridge and the skyline across here. Gives me this really nice reflection in the water on a slight long exposure. So even at sunrise, when it's still a little bit dark, I still like to use filters because they allow me to shoot those longer shutter speeds. So this shot that I've taken here is taken at 120 seconds at f8 ISO 64. And I'm using two filters to achieve that. I'm using a graduated filter and I'm also using an ND filter that's about 10 stops. So because I've come to this slightly wider shot, I'm quite a far distance away from Ben and Nat. So hopefully they've got some good shots. I'm really keen to go back and meet them and see what pictures they've taken. Yeah, and then the Oh, this is yeah, cool. This is nice. Okay, so I just shot this building. It's got this really nice structure going around it. And you can see the building through the glass. It's a really cool look. A jogger ran through you know, and I nailed her right in the middle. So I'm really excited I did that impulse. My shot speed's on 1000. I was at 2.8 and my ISO was at 250. I'm also shooting with a 14 to 24 and it was in uh, AFC mode, so it recognised that a person was running through the scene and it's locked onto her straight away. I feel like when you're shooting architecture, you want to show people the sense of scale and what's a better way than having a person in the scene. Oh, that's nice. You have to... Yeah, yeah perfect. perfect. Tell me about where you've been, what you've shot and what you got up to. Well, we actually started here to try to catch the sunrise. We actually walked towards the Willemsbrug bridge and then walk around exploring the, the city. Do you think that's kind of like an interesting dynamic of like two photographers working together, like obviously using each other as models and then using different lenses, like either shooting ultra wide and stuff. Do you think that's quite a cool experience? Yeah, it is because it's nice to share the experience, share your view, what you see. I told Ben like, oh, I'm seeing this and then showing him and then maybe he can change his perspective to make another shot of what I have seen. So our next location, we're in the center of Rotterdam still, and we're now at the famous Cube Houses. This is a crazy architectural space. I think there's so many different angles and so many different shots. Yeah, this is an amazing spot. I've been here a few times. So today I'm trying to get uh, different angles, different uh, perspectives, getting out of my comfort zone, actually. This is really mind-blowing architecture in here. There's a lot of lines, there's a lot of leading lines, there's a lot of shapes, a lot of angles. I'm here with the ZFC, aiming on the rooftop of the cubes here in Rotterdam. This camera is very easy to use, very light. It's just perfect for traveling. So we've come to a local food market in the center of Rotterdam. Now, there's so many different things to shoot here. So many different little avenues, so many different colors and textures and so on. I'm really excited to shoot some stuff here, mainly from like a street perspective. I'm going to be using a ZFC. You're going to be using some portrait stuff, right? There's some portraits, but also the environment. I used my Z9 at first. I was getting some of the architecture and then I jumped onto the ZFC and had a quick go. And it's really good because it's really light, easy to use. A lot of people often talk about, they like the idea of street photography, but they're always a little bit scared to go and take pictures of people. But I think a smaller, lighter weight camera, especially something that looks almost like a film camera, just makes you look a little bit less noticeable. So that's why I really like shooting that in this environment. We're here in our new location. Now, this is a pretty impressive tunnel. We said we were going to go and shoot in a cyclist tunnel. I thought it might be a little bit smaller, but this is actually really, really impressive. So talk me through some of the things that you guys want to shoot in here, some of the things that you're looking for, and the types of shots you might want to take. 
I'm looking for the symmetry in the, in the shots and um, also the leading lines and trying to get reflection shots mm -hmm. to get some different angle. I'm starting with the 1424 and then maybe go with the 7200 to zoom in. And Ben, I appreciate this is the first time that you've been to this location, but I'm sure you've shot in tunnels like this before, right? So is there cer certain things you're looking for or certain shots you really like to take? I'm using the wires. I'm going to isolate a subject and make it look really small in this fast environment and maybe punch in with the 7200 as well. So we've got a really cool location here and I think it's a really good opportunity to, to shoot three different photos or three different shots and I think it'd be really good to compare how three different photographers shoot in one single place. Wow, have you seen this? This yes. is crazy, did you, what did you do? I took a picture of it. Look. Show me, show me. Wow. That is it's amazing, really right? Cool. It looks like New York. It's yeah, it does look like New York. Awesome, right? awesome. So my exposure just finished and that was a 300 second exposure. So that's with a 15 stop filter. So if I didn't have that filter, I just obviously wouldn't be able to shoot for as long. So yeah, the key thing for me is I just love movement in clouds. It just really brings the picture alive for me. And that's why I really shoot the longer exposure stuff. While Nat and Richie were shooting the other side, I came around this side of the building and I love the way the lines are all moving in different directions and it's giving a kind of contrasty vibe to that corner. So I've changed well from my wide angle, I went to the 7200 and I tried to aim and get something in that corner. I think I've got a, a decent shot. So. This location is an art museum. Now from the outside of it, it might not necessarily look like an art museum. Reflective building all the way around on the outside. It looks really, really impactful. So I'm really excited to shoot some stuff in here as well. Now, not only can we shoot outside, there's also some really cool stuff inside and there's a nice viewing platform at the top, right? So what are you guys thinking you might want to shoot in here and what types of things you're gonna be looking for? It's an impressive, beautiful piece of architecture. So I'm gonna get the most out of, uh, of the space. This is amazing, like, look at it. Um, it reminds me of the, um, the bean in Chicago with the reflection. So when I go upstairs, I'm gonna try and see what's up there. I might get this stripe on this floor from up there, so that might look cool. Yeah, it's amazing. And what I'm trying to do is just isolate a single subject in that space. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crop in and you're just gonna have a person walking against a layer of stripes and it's gonna really pull you into the image. So I'm using the Z9 uh, with 35 1.8. I didn't want to have a very wide uh, angle because I want to have more detail also uh, aiming on the model with the reflection of her and the surroundings. I try to get the perfect um, angle. So to get as much as close to the reflection uh, window and get her and surrounding and not, nothing else. We are at one of the best um, rooftops um, in Rotterdam with a skyline over the city, beautiful view and we have a really nice sunset today. And I'm going to try to get some different angles um, of the city. I'm using the 7200 uh, 2.8 to get more details of the street and the cars that's driving um, through it. Actually, I'm afraid of height a little bit, but I'm doing it because it's something I love to, to do. and to give other people a different view from what I'm used to to take photos of. There's a lot up here. The bridge, it's got the, the buildings behind, it's got lots of the cars driving through, so there's a lot of opportunity to get trail lights and get cars driving through the scene, which makes the city look really alive. I've been using kind of all my gear at the same time. I've been using the wide to get kind of a landscape shot where you've got the whole view basically inside and then I've been using the 7200 to like pick up those buildings in the back. Shooting with Richie and Ben has really been insightful. Rotterdam has it all, skyscapes, street photography, architecture, so it's a perfect combination of everything you need in one city. Whether you're shooting in the tunnel to high up on a rooftop, you're still a photographer. The, the same rules apply. It doesn't matter what you use, you still have to have your photography brain active.
So, unfortunately, this is our last location of our trip. I've had a great couple of days spending some time with both of you. We've done some stuff where we've worked together, we've done some stuff where we split up and shot some different things. I think for me, I really enjoyed just going to a new city, just exploring it with someone that's local, but then also sharing that experience with someone who's new, but then seeing it in a completely different way. And I think that key is that different style that really brought us together, because then we just really learn from each other as well.